From Fear to Accomplishment. From Fear to Accomplishment, Amy Pratt. Have you ever felt hopeless? Like the mountain before you was so steep and like you'd fallen so many times that you were terrified to try again? Today I'm reaching out to tell you, don't let fear defeat you. A lot of people, when they have problems, they break down. And that was something that I experienced time and time again. But I learned that the greater the challenge, the greater the reward. Today I'm going to tell you about my situation. I'm going to tell you how I was able to set my fear aside and about all the benefits that it's brought me. I'm going to show you that even if your situation seems impossible, you can accomplish anything. And the struggle that you go through will make you so much stronger. A few months ago, I decided that I needed a change in my life. I just started a new career, which was very fulfilling, but my health was very poor. I have a condition, like most of the women in my family, called polycystic ovarian syndrome. It's a condition where, among other things, your body doesn't process sugars properly. And it makes it very difficult to lose weight. And of course, the mo more you weigh, the more difficult it is to manage the disease. So it's kind of a vicious cycle. It often leads to diabetes, and it also makes it very difficult to have children. I had tried so many things to manage this condition. I worked with the best dietitian in the city. I took over-the-counter diet pills. I even tried prescription drugs that just made me nauseous every morning, and nothing worked. I tried so many things that I became afraid to tell people when I was trying something new, and I actually became afraid to try. On top of that were personal circumstances. Uh, a few years back, I'd lost my career in the recession, and my marriage was failing, so I set aside my own health to focus on salvaging that. I tried so many things and spent so much energy trying to make my husband happy and nothing was good enough. I gained even more weight and I just felt like a failure. I felt helpless and I felt like nothing I could ever do would turn my health around. And then I went to marriage counseling only to hear the love of my life say, I'm not in love with you anymore because I'm ashamed of your body. So after a year after removing myself from that delightful situation, I found myself in a new career here at SMART. And I met this girl, this tiny little bundle of energy, who, even though she hardly knew me, was instantly one of the most supportive and accepting people I'd ever known. She made me feel like she genuinely cared about me as a person without expecting anything from me in return. And as we got to know each other, she shared with me a belief that she had in a challenge that helped people regain control of their health, their life, and their finances. It was a belief that anyone could change their life and achieve incredible things. It was difficult for me to believe that this was possible, and it was more difficult for me to believe that I could do this. But because she was so unconditionally accepting and encouraging of me, no matter what I did, I decided that I was going to take strength, set aside my fear, and try one more time. And I realized that in the year since my marriage had ended, I'd surrounded myself with some pretty amazing people with incredible friends who supported and loved me and that even if I tried and failed, that that love and support would still be there for me. Joseph Campbell said, find a place inside where there's joy and the joy will burn away the pain. My struggles had seemed unconquerable and each time I failed, I hated myself for it. But when I learned to find my motivation from a place of love and acceptance, that's when I was finally able to set aside my fear and fight my demons. To date, I've lost 20 pounds, which is about the equivalent of 20 grapefruits. It's a big deal for me because it's something I've never been able to do before. In the grand scheme of things though, I've met people who've lost 75, 125 pounds. But for me, 20 pounds is the realization that I am not helpless and that I am not a failure. 20 pounds is the realization that I can be in control of my life, and that I have the power to be whatever I want to be. As I started making these positive changes in my life, I also realized that it was beginning to have an impact on the people around me. My friends saw what I accomplished, and they began to make positive choices in their own lives. My current wonderful boyfriend told me that I inspired him to go from a pack a day of cigarettes 
to nothing, whole turkey. And a wonderful friend who was moved by me to start her own health challenge recently called to tell me that her efforts had cured her type 2 diabetes. And I realized then that the love and acceptance that I felt from my friends that meant so much to me that it went both ways. I realized that in facing my fear head on, I was able to return that inspiration and encouragement back to the people that meant the most to me. I felt so grateful and so overwhelmingly happy to have an impact on these people's lives that it was almost a better reward than regaining my own health. This is how I learned that if you can set aside your fear, anything is possible. My struggles had seemed unconquerable, but when I learned to take strength from love and surround myself with positive, caring people, I was able to fight my demons, set aside my fear, and gain amazing results. It can be the same for you. Even if your heart is heavy, even if you've failed again and again and it seems like you're not getting anywhere, don't let fear defeat you. Take strength from the people who love you and let beautiful, positive things lift and carry you when the burden is too heavy for you to shoulder alone. Believe in this and I promise you, you will accomplish anything. Madam Joe's Master.